Good morning guys, today I'm going off to a beautiful luxury resort called Guingana and it's just actually close by to the Gold Coast, about an hour from where I live and it's a beautiful early birthday present to me and I definitely want to take you guys along so let's go check it out. I just arrived at Guingana Lifestyle Retreat, it is absolutely beautiful here, let's go check out the room. My favorite is definitely the outdoor bath. Each day we get like this little card about what we're doing for the day, kind of like your daily menu of activities I suppose. So it's now 4pm on check-in day which means it's afternoon tea time so let's head over to the snack. This is one of their newest buildings here at Guingana. The architecture is absolutely beautiful on the outside and this is where we're going to get our snacks. Well, due to COVID, uh, usually you can choose where you sit for dinner, but at the moment you get designated a little spot to have dinner with and a group of people that you're going to mingle with. And so there was myself and three other people at the table. And they were so nice just to get to know people. And the food, oh my God, the dinner was absolutely beautiful. So for dinner, I chose to have uh, some fish with like green veggies, beetroot and broccoli and zucchini with this amazing sauce that just, if you're not into veggies, sauce is always going to make up the, the lack of taste that <laughs> veggies have, but it was served with fish as well and it was just so fresh and delicious and they have a kind of a rule that around the resort here you don't use your mobile phones to digital detox so you can't really take a photo of a lot of things and they also say just to refrain from taking it out around guests like a camera around guests because you don't want them to feel stressed out that you're trying to take a photo of them or anything like that so there are a lot of things that I can't um, whip my camera out for so you'll miss kind of miss the meals and things like that but honestly everything is just amazing. I think that's one thing that like everyone mentioned, they were like scared of coming to the resort and it would be, um, or the retreat I should say, and they would be hungry but everyone is like rolling to bed and it's all super healthy. Every single thing that they serve is gluten free and dairy free plus they also cater for any additional nutritional needs which is amazing. So right now, I'll show you what I'm doing right now. I am filling up the night tub outside and they have these blinds so basically you can see out but nobody can see in and you just fill up your bath and you have it outside on the deck and it's amazing. Good morning guys, it is officially like a full day one I suppose, or day two. I got up at 5.30 this morning and now I'm heading off to uh, Qigong, which is kind of like Tai Chi or like a movement meditation, so better get going because I'm running late.
I just want to show you around a little bit while we've got some time. Uh, we have to wear our name badge so that um, when the staff and when they're talking to other people they know your name and they can address you by your first name which is really such a sweet sweet touch. Um, so yeah, I'm just walking around now having a little bit of a look around. relaxing I've been sitting in my little chair pod and just watching everything on my balcony it's been like the rest time or the rest period of the day and now I'm actually booked in to go and do a facial and the facial is very new to the, to the retreat so I'm really excited to get it done and I will leave a review after it's done Feeling really dewy and fresh and the smells are just amazing. It ended up being a really big first day at the retreat. Um, I definitely loved everything so much. The food, oh my gosh. I feel like I have to talk really quietly because I do have people next door as well so I just want to be mindful of how loud I'm talking but the food, every single thing that you get served is gluten free and dairy free absolutely and then you if you have any additional foods that you don't want to have or you have intolerance to you just let them know and they will um like adjust their dietary requirements for you so delicious they make fish taste amazing and i even had tofu for lunch and i didn't even know because the food was so good the portion sizes are really good actually because I know that most people will think oh will I go hungry if I go to something like this and here they serve you snacks, breakfast, for breakfast we had a bowl of porridge and then we had um, like this, well I had a piece of gluten free toast with like this avocado mixture and little cherry tomatoes from the garden and then the other people, because I can't have the onion and garlic, they got served a little fritter and it was just amazing. <laughs> it's so good. And then you get fed snacks in between and then if you're hungry in between that, they do have pieces of fruit everywhere and they also have tea. They have tea always on hand for you to have if you just want a cup of tea when you're walking past the dining room or anything like that so they're really really accommodating and they're so polite and lovely if you have any issues like they will fix it like straight away that's the last thing I wanted to say the seminars they do little um, wellness talks and little education talks and things like that and they're so informative and they try to help you to set you up for when you go home and what you can implement they try to give you strategies and tools that's what they said, they, they try to give you the tools so that you can either carry on or you can make adjustments when you go home. And they gave me like a little journal so I can write down every single thing and I always try and concentrate so hard on what they're saying just to remember what they're saying and then write it all down. So yeah, today has been awesome and now I'm going to get some sleep.
his body is so small to hold up all that weight. Wingana has two infinity pools that you can use recreationally and for water aerobics. the labyrinth and behind me is what you've just seen a little bit of a close-up of, of the pebbles that go in a circular motion and form this kind of ritual circle and I was lucky enough to go just the other morning and do a letting go ritual in the labyrinth and what we did was as a whole group and energy is so strong when you do this with other people but there's a whole group of people and we all walked through the pebble tracks and into a circle leading into the pot that's in the middle and prior to walking through the circle uh, we were standing on the outside or the edges and we had to look at the ground and pick up what attracted us or what stood out whether it was a rock a leaf a stick or anything just beneath you and once you had that so if you chose to pick up a leaf you would then put everything that you want to let go of into this leaf and channel your energy to release it pretty much and so we walked around that circle and once we got into the middle of the pot we would then leave behind what we wanted to let go of and walk away from it as a symbol of moving forward in your life and I didn't think it would get to me as much as it did and a lot of people got really emotional with this but it was amazing and I think when you're doing it a lot of things come up and a lot of memories and things come flooding in so if you're not prepared or if you're not ready for it it can be a little overwhelming just being honest and when you go through it and then you do it and you step back you actually do have a sense of relief and it just brings up those things in your life that are trying to tell you that you know something's not not in balance or you haven't dealt with something appropriately or just what you need to work on a little bit more in your own life so it was an amazing experience to do and just what comes up is just incredible and to see everyone together as a group and the support and the love here, the community that forms within Guingana with the guests and the staff is just such a beautiful bond. And what I found most during my stay here is the deep conversations that you end up getting into. Instead of the surface, what is it? The small talk, just the small talk that goes on. How's the weather, you know? How was your day? How's the food? You know, things like that. It was more 
just soul searching deep core things that you've been experiencing or things that have come up over the time and having deep meaningful connecting conversations is what I found has come up a lot more over the past few days and it's just been so beautiful yeah it's really hard to put it into words if you haven't experienced it yourself but yeah 